how's it going everybody? It's your bro here. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how the mouse listener interface works in Java. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Okay, let's get started, people. I have two classes. I have a class called main, and it contains an instance of my other class that is called myframe. MyFrame extends JFrame, and within the constructor for MyFrame, I have four lines of code. This dot set default close operation, JFrame exit on close. I have a size of 500 by 500. I am using no layout manager. This dot set layout is set to null. And lastly, this dot set visible is set to true. One of a few ways in which we can use a mouse listener interface is to have the definition of your class implements the mouse listener interface so according to the description for the mouse listener interface this listener interface is used for receiving interesting mouse events such as a press release click enter and exit on a component so since we're implementing an interface we need to add any unimplemented methods and for mouse listeners there are five methods mouse clicked mouse pressed mouse released mouse entered and mouse exited so let me give you a quick description for each of these. I've added a short description for each of these methods. Let's begin with mouse pressed. Mouse pressed is invoked when a mouse button has been pressed on a component. So if you hold down a mouse button, it's going to execute mouse pressed. Mouse released is invoked when a mouse button has been released over a component. Mouse clicked is invoked when the mouse button has been clicked, pressed, and released on a component. Mouse entered is invoked when the mouse enters the area of a component, and mouse exited is invoked when the mouse exits the area of a component. So let's apply a mouse listener to a label. So we will create a J label. J label, label, we'll declare it outside of the constructor and instantiate it within the constructor. So let's create a label. Label equals new J label. And since we're using no layout manager, let's set the bounds for the label. Label.setBounds. We'll place this in the top left corner. And we'll make the width 100 and the height 100. And let's color this red. So label.setBackground. Color.red. And in order for the background to actually appear, we have to label dot set opaque and set this to true. And lastly, we need to add this label to the frame. This dot add label. And now we should have a red square at the top left corner of our frame. Now we're going to apply a mouse listener to this component to our label. So we type in the name of the component that we want to add a mouse listener to label dot add mouse listener and since we're implementing the mouse listener interface we can just pass in this now this label can respond to different mouse events so let's do a simple print line so let's begin with mouse clicked system that i'll dot print line you clicked the mouse Now, I'm clicking within the frame, but we did not apply the mouse listener to the frame. We applied it to the label. If I begin clicking within the label, it performs, it invokes our mouse clicked method. Now we have mouse pressed. That is if we hold down one of the mouse buttons. So I'm going to system that out to print line. You pressed the mouse. This time I'm going to hold down the left mouse button. You pressed the mouse and then it doesn't do anything if you release. So this also applies to the right mouse button and to the center mouse button if you have one, the scroll wheel. All right, we're going to print line, you released the mouse. This is only invoked once you release one of the buttons. So I'm going to hold down the left mouse button, then I'm going to release in three, two, one, go. You released the mouse. And then we also have entered and exited. You entered, let's say the component. 
So I'm not going to click, I'm just going to enter the component. And then it says, you entered the component. And then we have exited. You exited the component. So I'm going to enter and then leave. Enter and then leave again. So you can see that there are different mouse events. Let's make one more change to this label. Let's change the color of the label after we perform one of these methods. So let's begin with mouse pressed. Let's say after you press on this component, you press the mouse over the component, will set the background to a different color. And for this color, let's say yellow, color dot yellow. So I'm going to press and then the background color is now yellow. And let's say when we release, we'll have this become a different color like green. So I'm going to hold down, it's currently yellow. And then when I release, it's going to be green and we'll have mouse entered. Let's change this to blue. And then when we exit, we'll change it back to red, I suppose. Color dot red. Now I'm going to enter the area, it's blue, and then leave. Enter again, it's blue again, and now it's red again. If I were to click and release, it's green, and then when I exit, it goes back to red. Here's a what if situation. What if we applied our mouse listener to the frame instead of just the label. So let's replace label with this and see what happens. Now, if we were to enter the area of the frame itself, now this responds to our mouse events that happen. And you can see that the color of the label is changing too. And if I were to click within the frame, it's going to change the color of our label as well. So where you apply or where you add the mouse listener to actually makes a big difference. If you were to apply the mouse listener to the entire frame, then the entire frame is going to respond to these separate mouse events. So that's just something to keep in mind. So here's a small project that I thought we could work on. We're going to apply a label or set the icon of the label to one of a few images, depending on which mouse event occurs. I have four images. This one is called smile. This one is nervous, pain, and dizzy. The icon is going to change for the label depending on which mouse event occurs, which method is called. So if you need some images, feel free to pause the video to download some. So I have four images, smile, nervous, pain, and dizzy. I'm going to declare these outside of the constructor and within the constructor, I'm going to instantiate these. I made a few changes to our frame that you should be aware of. For the layout, I'm using a new flow layout followed by this.pack and this dot set location relative to null. This will have your frame appear in the middle of your computer screen. It's not crucial, but it's helpful and I sometimes forget to add this. So we need to instantiate these image icons. So we have smile equals new image icon and we can list the file path or the file name if it's within your project folder. Since these are within my project folder, I can just list the file name. So for smile, this is smile.png. And then I have nervous, pain, and dizzy. So I'm going to follow the same steps for those as well. So we have nervous equals new image icon, nervous.png, followed by pain. And lastly, dizzy. Now for our label, I'm going to set the icon to smile right away. So that will be basically the default label dot set icon. And I'm going to set this to smile and we need to add this label to the frame. This dot add, what are we adding? We're adding our label. But before we compile and run this, I need to instantiate my label because I forgot to do so label equals new j label and then we also need to add a mouse listener and let's add the mouse listener to the label label dot add mouse listener i suppose you can do the frame too that would work label dot add mouse listener and now we should have our smiley face which we do now we're going to change the icon of the label based on which mouse event occurs so we can actually copy this line of code where we set the icon 
And let's say when we enter the area of the label, this is going to change or be set to our nervous image because we're in our face's personal space. He's kind of nervous. And then if we were to exit, he'll go back to smiling. So let's try it. So he's fine right now, but if we enter his personal space, he's getting really nervous and cautious of us. But if we were to leave and move the cursor outside of the label, he's just fine. Now let's do pressed and released. So if we were to click on him, he's going to be in pain, kind of like we hurt him. And if we release the mouse, we'll say he's dizzy because he doesn't know what just happened. All right, we're going to enter the area. He's nervous. Now he's smiling. Now he's nervous again. We're going to click and hold down the mouse and he's in pain because we're hurting him. And then if we were to release, he's just dizzy. But if we were to leave this area, he goes back to smiling. All right, everybody. Well, that's the basics of the mouse listener interface in Java. If you want a copy of all this code, I'll post all of this in the comments down below. But yeah, that's how the mouse listener interface works in Java. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learn something new, then you can help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.